Hi everyone, welcome back. I wanted to share with you um, the newest collection, the newest digital collection from Kelly Bangs Creative. It does um, come out today. I am so excited. So this one is all about girls and friendship and like all the fun things that we uh, love to do together. And um, Kelly has just created a really fun, eclectic, um, just digital set that has just so many fun papers and just like images like i just love the images there's a little shout out to um the the tv show friends which um most of us have seen like a thousand times i watch it all the time and, and i watch it anytime i'm not feeling good um and i can't really watch like any regular thing i will just put that on it is the this is the most I, I don't know. It's just, I love that show. But anyway, there's a little shout out you can see here. She has a, a whole page of like these little signs and there's even the little friends um, picture frame that's on the back of Monica and Rachel's door at their apartment. And, um, but, but mostly it's just a lot of fun things about friendship. Um, so I didn't print out the collection to, to show you on the, the video, but you can definitely click the link below. It'll take you straight to, um, Kelly Bang's uh, store where you can purchase the um, collection and you can download it right then and there and get working on your projects right away. So that's the one thing I love so much about digital is that it's, um, if you are, you know, you find a collection that you love, you can purchase it, print it out. And um, I just fussy cut mine. I know you can cut it on your Cricut and other um, cutter cutting machines, but I just, uh, I love to fussy cut. So I don't mind sitting in front of the TV and, and fussy cutting. Um, it's just fun. But anyway, um, there were so many fun things on this and I love doing pocket letters and different things, but I thought I would do something different, um, this time. So I did create a clipboard. Um, I just took a piece of, um, cardstock or not cardstock, like chipboard. And then I backed each side of my chipboard with this blue um, solid color uh, paper. It's a little bit textured. And then I layered um, Kelly's, um, some of the paper from the collection um, right on top. So it looked like, you know, it was actually a piece of paper clipped onto the clipboard. So um, I did that on both sides. This is beautiful. Like, look at the colors in that. Um, so, so fun. And then I wanted to use this one here because it was... Um, it wasn't a super busy pattern and you know when you're scrapbooking or something it's kind of nice to do like not so much not such a busy pattern so that all of you know the other things can kind of stand out so that's what i did um and then there's um a whole page of these like little clips um clipboard clips and so right when i saw that i knew i was going to do this as a clipboard so i did um cut that out on and i put it on foam and then I kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I built it up a little bit with foam and hot glued it so it would stick up at an angle. So it, can you see like how that kind of angles out? And then I just punched a hole through that and added, um, this is actually a super fun charm somebody made me and I don't know who it was, but they sent it to me on a package and, um, and I had it and I was like, this needs a little something and it was just so perfect. So I added that there and then I added some little sequins. Um, and then the other fun thing um, in this collection is there's a whole page of these big frames. And I don't even remember, there might even be two pages of frames. I feel like there was a lot. But um, I took them and um, just popped them up on foam tape in a little bit different heights. And, um, and then decided to just do a, like a little kind of cluster of um, em like ephemera from the collection on each one. I thought that would be a fun way to, to display some of my favorite pieces. So whenever I'm doing a project like this, I kind of had the idea of the clipboard. I really knew I wanted to use the frames. And then I thought, well, let me pull out like my, my favorite frames that I, you know, kind of really picked them out for the, like the uh, frame part of the frame, but also what the little kind of fabric or whatever that's peeking through. Um, and then I picked out my favorites and then I just go through the ephemera and found, you know, just little pieces. There's so many pieces. It was really hard to like narrow it down, but picked out some of my faves and then just again started adding those um, and popping them up on foam, gluing some, you know, straight to the um, the frame. But love, love, love how this, this came out. Like I love, look at this earring set. Um, and I love that there's a whole page of florals. So I do, I like to do things in, um, 
odd numbers. So I did, you know, three florals. So one, two, and one down here, three. And then um, when I did my picture frames, I did five. Um, and then, you know, try to do like little clusters of like, you know, three here, three here. Um, I think I did what, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I try to do, like this one technically only has two, but then I have like a cluster. So that gives me my three. Um, but yeah, odd numbers in decorating <laughs> or your crafts, um, that always works for me. So when I decorate, like I'm doing shelves or I work in a lighting store, so I do a lot of displays and stuff. And um, when I like set up a tabletop or do something, I just, always do odd numbers so I don't know tell me down below if you guys do that too I don't know if that's like an actual design thing or if it's just me being weird so <laughs> I'd love to know I would love to know um but anyway yeah isn't this so cute the one we don't talk about I love this because I feel like if you've had a, like a bestie bestie for a long long time and your bestie could be your sister could be a friend whatever um I mean, there's little things, sometimes there's things that happened a long, long time ago that like only you, the two of you know about, or just like a select few. And I thought that was hilarious because, you know, it's like the one we don't talk about. It's like, yeah, we all know it happened, but we just don't talk about it because it's, you know, a little crazy. Um, but yeah, isn't this gorgeous? Like, I just love, love, love all this. So I plan on hanging this um, somewhere in my crafty space. Um, but anyway, I'd love for you guys to give one of these clipboards a try. You could use a real clipboard. I just didn't have one and I don't really think you need one because, um, you do have these in the set and it's just so fun to kind of create these little windows. And this would be really cute. Like, um, I probably should have done this with my best friend. You know, had, I've got a few pictures, you know, obviously of us and I could have done one of these with our, you know, our picture in it. So maybe I'll create another one. Maybe I'll create one for her and put her, her and I, my, oh, can't talk today. A picture of her and I, and then um, gift that to her. But um, yeah, anyway, super cute, love it. Um, I hope you guys check out this collection and I hope you give something like this a try. We'll see you on the next one, bye.